Well, unfortunately, this is now being investigated as a fatal accident. We know that a 25 year old woman was killed. We also know that a 27 year old man and a 30 year old remain in the hospital now in satisfactory condition. Along Aurora and 96, a reminder of life lost. I have deepest condolences and sympathies to the family that lost their loved ones. It's just sad. Reggie Haywood really was sad. working at this building yeah. supply company, just finishing his day when he heard the crash and immediately knew something was wrong. I've never heard a noise like that before. I mean, it sounded like somewhere out on the airport or something, like a jet or something. Traffic on Aurora at a standstill around 3.30 Tuesday afternoon. A mangled mess of car parts, including a child's car seat covering the roadway. It was really bad, yeah, because at the time when we were looking at it, it didn't look like anybody could make out, get out of there alive. Seattle police say a forklift operator drove into traffic, crashing into an SUV, causing that SUV to slam into a landscaping truck. We all jumped out to go see how we could help. There was a lift, a forklift in the middle of the street and one truck on the other side. The crash injured two people, killed a 25-year-old passenger. By the time the ambulances came and started to cut her out and stuff like that, um, I saw her face and I, that's all I wanted to see. Haywood documented the aftermath on his cell phone, showing us this picture of the man believed to be the forklift operator. Behind him, a police officer holding bottles of vodka. Obviously, anybody driving a forklift that we suspect to be under the influence of alcohol or any narcotics is um, absolutely going to be arrested. It's unacceptable. I don't understand how, how he's on a forklift and he's intoxicated. Um, I just don't really know much more, more to say about that. I mean, it's just, it's not acceptable. A woman lost her life yesterday because of, you know, stuff like that. While the driver appeared to walk away from that accident, we've since learned he's been taken to the hospital after he receives treatment. He'll be moved to the King County Jail. From there, he'll see a judge and likely face a charge of DUI, if not more severe charges. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.